All right, here I've got my budget B medium supers from uh, Better B. I'm also going to be using their medium heavily waxed, double waxed plastic frames. It'll be your first time trying those out. <clears throat> I guess let's see uh, how it goes. Check these. Got to be pretty warm in there right now. So let's uh, see how full these babies are full of honey. And a lot of you have uh, mentioned that I look a little skittish around the bees. Well, yes, I am working on it. Yeah, after all, this is my first season as a beekeeper. Newbie beekeeper. Check some of these bad boys. Oh, yeah, I wish I had the camera right here to show you guys. These are all getting filled up. I'm not going to go all the way down right now. I'm just going to. Oh, this frame is heavy. Check that out. These are all that way. So, I can see down through there, when I lifted this frame up, that this uh, one here is uh, at least partially filled. So, let's go ahead and set these on here. You'll notice these are not honey, excuse me, wax dipped or wax coated frames or boxes. These are the budget ones. They come with... Uh, no hardware to put them together. They do come pre-pilot drilled. And the wood is uh, kind of like second hand or has blemishes. So you're going to get some knots, things like that in it. I had some extra screws, throw them together. They're not dovetailed either. You can see they're just squared off where these are dovetailed. It wasn't so dang hot I'd actually get uh, going a little deeper 
but it is roasting out here and I really need to get me a ventilated suit. And as you can tell, the bees down there, they're a little warm too, so they're on the outside. Now the next one I want to put on, it's called the, uh, was it the hog frames? It's the pre-waxed little cartridges that you fill up. You can sell them with uh, honeycomb, clean them up, put a label on them, you're ready to go. That's what I want to put on next. <clears throat> Yeah, should have came out a little sooner. Whew, sweat is pouring off me, dripping on my screen mask here. But you can see them building comb. You can't see it from that angle, but. Come on now. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're running out of room. Definitely should have came out way sooner. Get back down in there, ladies. Definitely need to start bringing me something out to put all this extra wax and stuff in. I know I'm doing a no-no here. <clears throat> Now this one is not quite, actually you get over that way. Here, let me take one out over here on this side. Come on now. Well, these are pretty packed here. And it looks like these are mostly filled up too. So, and you look down there, bang. Yes, these bees have been busy.
And I do got to say that I'm doing this. I haven't used a queen excluder. Or as a lot of folks like to call them honey excluders. Oh, just to be on. These are also the uh, plastic frames. Heavy waxed. Okay. Come on, get off here, ladies. Well, let's see how we can uh, straighten this up just a little bit better. Being the budget boxes, they are definitely not as square as the others. But for a fraction of the cost, I think Better B has got a pretty good thing going. Hives are definitely still going good. Next time I'll get in and check on the queen. Yeah, these two here are definitely both sides pretty full of honey. Let's see how fast they fill those up. All right, until next time, see ya.